Many citizens have asked why we have not enacted a stay at home as other neighboring cities have. But let me tell you this, the action that we have taken is essentially a stay at home. And that means that with the exception of the following, no curfew at night. And it also means that we have still allowed people to go to playgrounds and parks. We don't at this point have an action that says the only thing you can do is go to work and go to home with no other activity between the go to work and go to home time period. It is up to each and every citizen to take personal responsibility, to use common sense, to make sure that you and your family are following all of the CDC guidelines. We don't want to have to take further action. But we will if, in fact, we continue to find that citizens are not acting according to the CDC guidelines. We do know that citizens have been concerned about too many people in grocery stores and in other big box stores. We took action on that Sunday, and we have followed up with that on Monday to ensure that those big box stores are taking care of their responsibility for eliminating too many people and making sure we have six feet social distancing. But I repeat, we have been aggressive with the actions that we have currently taken. Our problem is citizens who choose not to listen. Citizens who think that the rules were not made for them. Citizens who think it won't matter if I just do it this one time. Or it's okay if I, I allow my kids to do it. One of the challenges big box stores have had is that families, entire families, mom, dad, and all the kids are showing up at the grocery store at the same time. Each one of those persons is being counted in terms of the total number of people being allowed into a store. We cannot continue to bring the entire family shopping when we go out to do essential business. There have been many people who have asked why we are not giving you more information about those people who have tested positive. The fact is you don't need to know that information. The city and the public health officials are doing the appropriate thing. They're making sure that they are quarantined, that, that those people that have been in contact with those persons are also being isolated. At this point, the most important part is for each of you to take personal responsibility for your actions. The city of San Angelo continues to take direction from the governor of Texas, Governor Abbott, from our public health officials, from our public attorneys, and from President Donald Trump. We believe by following their direction, their strategies, that those are the best decisions that we can make for this community. We are not wanting to pick and choose which businesses can or cannot open. But what we do know is that our responsibility is, in fact, to the citizens of San Angelo. We must take precautions to ensure the public health and safety of everyone who lives here in San Angelo. We don't want to hurt businesses. It's not our decision to hurt anybody and to impact everyone's financial stability. But if we don't all work together, if we don't all stay together, we won't get beyond this disease. The quicker we react, the quicker we take precautions, the faster we take personal responsibility and use common sense, the quicker we will get back to normal. We will survive this.